Now, let's continue our lecture with block of elements in the periodic table. Block of elements Based on the electronic configuration, the type of orbital occupied by the electron of the highest energy determines the block of the element. There are four blocks exist in the periodic table, namely S, P, D, and F block. The diagram shows the location for the four main regions of the periodic table where the S block elements are located on your left, including the helium. The P block elements are on your right and the D block elements in the middle of the periodic table and last but not least, the F block elements on the lower part of the periodic table. S block elements The S block is occupied by the elements of group 1 and group 2 in the periodic table. The filling of the valence electron only involves S orbital and the configuration of the valence electron for S block elements is NS1 or NS2. For example, sodium in group 1 has the electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1, while calcium in group 2 has the following electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s2. P block elements. The P block elements are elements that have electrons in the outermost P orbital and includes the groups 13 to 18 in the periodic table. The electronic configuration are varies from NS2 and P1 for group 13 and NS2 and P6 for group 18 elements. For example, Aluminium in group 13 has the valence electronic configuration of 3s2, 3p1 and the tellurium has the valence electronic configuration of 5s2, 5p4. D-block D-block elements are also known as transition metals. The D-block elements consist of elements of group 3 to group 12 in the periodic table. The D-block elements have partially filled or completely filled D orbital and the electronic configuration for the valence electron for D-block element is N-1 D1 NS2 to N-1 D10 NS2. For example, vanadium has the valence electronic configuration of 4s2, 3d3. F block elements. The F-block elements are known as the inner transition elements. F-block involves the elements in the series of lanthanides and actinides. The first row of F-block elements are called lanthanides, which starts from the cerium to lutetium, while the second row elements are known as actinides which starts from thorium to laurentium. The vertical columns of the periodic table are called groups. There are a total of 18 groups in the periodic table. The elements in a group have the same number of electrons in their outermost energy level. Elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons and same chemical properties. 
For instance, sodium and potassium are both found in group 1 and they both have one valence electron and they both have the same chemical properties. Here is some tips to determine the group of elements. For S block and D block elements, the group number equal to the number of the valence electrons. While for P block elements, the group number equal to the number of the valence electron plus 10. This diagram shows the general classification of elements in the modern periodic table. Elements in group 1 are also known as alkali metal. And for group 2 elements, they are also known as alkaline earth metal. The D block elements are called transition metals. And the group 16 elements are known as chalcogens. Group 17, known as halogens, while the group 18 elements are the noble gases. Let's do exercise 3 together. Determine the block and group of the elements from its electronic configuration. For element A, the valence electronic configuration is 4s2, so, A is located in S block and group 2. While for B, the valence electronic configuration is 2S2 to P6. So, B is in P block. And since it has 8 valence electron, so B is in group 18. For element C, the valence electronic configuration is 4s2, 3d5. So, C is in D block and group 7. For D elements, the electronic configuration for the valence electron is 3s1. So, D is in S block and group 1. For element E, the valence electronic configuration is 4s2, 3d8. A is in block D and group 10. And last but not least, for F element, the electronic configuration is 4s2, 4p6. Hence, F is in P block and group 18. The next exercise is to determine the position of elements from its electronic configuration for elements P, Q, R, S and T. Complete the exercise on your own. Here is the answer for the exercise. Please check your answers. For element P, the configuration of the valence electron is 3s2, 3p6. Since the valence electron are located in S and P orbitals, Therefore, P is located in P block.
Exercise 4. Write the electronic configuration for P, Q, R, S and T based on the group, period and block given in the following table. This exercise is the opposite of exercise 3 that we have discussed just now. The first step to answer question like this is to determine its valence electronic configuration by using the given information. For example, element P is in P block and period 3, that means the valence electron of element P must occupy 3s and 3p orbitals. We also know that element P has 8 valence electron because it is in group 18. So, the electronic configuration for the 8 valence electrons will be 3s2, 3p6. Now, we just need to write the complete electronic configuration by filling up all the inner orbitals with electron. So, the complete electronic configuration for element P will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Let's check out the answer for element Q. From the given information, Q is said to be in period 4 and group 17. So, we know that Q has 7 valence electron which are located in 4s and 4p orbitals. Hence, the valence electronic configuration for element Q is 4s2, 4p5. Now, just like we did for element P, we need to complete the inner orbitals with electron. Therefore, a complete electronic configuration of element Q will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p5. Do the same for the other three elements R, S and T and check your answers here. That's all about determining the position of elements in the periodic table. This video of subtopic 3.1 ends here. We'll see you again next time and thank you.